Some residents in a Nina neighborhood say they've been sick for a few days now. And they're boiling mad, if you will. They believe it's related to potentially contaminated water in their neighborhood. The order to boil water started Sunday and will continue at least two more days. It's for people living from Winnicottie Avenue, south half a mile to Mead, and in the area between Henry Street on the west and Higgins Avenue on the east. Tonight, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us the new details on Nina's ongoing water problems. From her dogs to her grandson and daughter, Ophelia Carbajal says everyone in her family hasn't been feeling well the past few days. Well, everybody in the house, they were sick. They had diarrhea and fever, stomach pain, really bad. The sickness was felt in the apartment above Carbajal as well. Real upset stomach and problems going to the bathroom for about three days. The sick residents live right next to the South Commercial Street construction site where levels of coliform bacteria were found in water samples. However, city officials say there's no evidence residents are getting sick from the water. There's no correlation at this point that it has come from the construction in, in the area down on, on Commercial Street. So um, we don't know at this point in time. Nina Water Utility is sending four daily water samples to the DNR. The city needs 48 hours of clear samples before the water boil notice can end. We're sampling, we're flushing. Kent Taylor is also taking phone calls, some critical of the way they found out about the water boil. Taylor says they followed protocol of alerting the media and posting a message on the water utility website. Yesterday we went door to door in that area and we pounded on doors and we left door hangers on the doors. Was it late? Yes, um, but we did get the message and we, we viewed it as an update of the situation. You should have let us know before, maybe we don't get sick. Bear with us, uh, we're doing the best that we can. In Nina, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Also, instead of boiling their own water, some residents have chosen to buy bottled water. We checked with several grocery stores in the area. All told us today they have plenty available.